Today, there's a great variety on offer of plant-based drinks. Soya drinks have been around for a long time. But if you visit your local supermarket today, you will probably find some or all of the mentioned drink types on the shelf. Here you see a typical flowchart for a plant-based drinks process. This can be for any of the previous mentioned drink types. And of course, there are always variations in the setup that are needed for a specific type. What we see is that many of the producers have a production line which can alternate between the different drinks. So one day soya drink is produced and the next day oat or almond. Starting from the left, we see where the raw material is being mixed with water and then milled in a wet mill. Sometimes the raw material can be readily grinded material like a meal, which is then mixed with water. Next, the mixture is soaked and then is further heated or cooled. Some additives can be added, for example, enzymes, and then the mixture is pumped into the decanter centrifuge in which the liquid solid separation takes place. The solids are dewatered to a maximum dryness to get the best yield of products, and the liquid coming out is the base product for the final consumer products, which is pumped further to downstream process to make it ready for packaging. The mixed ratio and temperatures that you see here in this flowchart are just indicative. It very much depends on what the demands of the customer are on the taste of the end product. So these can vary quite a bit.